What's up guys, here is the beginning of the legendary series in my opinion and it's gonna basically be a game where we actually answer your questions and it's gonna be that's it. You are giving us One Piece questions yeah. and we're gonna answer it in a, in a more of a game way or something like that. It's gonna be really fun. Where basically it's gonna be like that. Every one of us, like me, Marco, Burns, Cyclo and Wolf, everyone has like let's say 4000 berries, alright? So now I got the question. The question says who's stronger, Blackbeard or Shanks? Now I got the question so no one can veto me or something like that. So now I can say like, for example, I can say Blackbeard is stronger, alright? So now Cyclo, if he wants to veto my question or he wants to, to say his answer like he wants to say Shanks is stronger, now he gotta pay 500 and that's basically it. Until further, like, I don't know, who knows, if we continue this series, we're gonna add more insane stuff to the series so i guess that's it and let's start immediately with the questions okay and let's start with question number one and we're gonna start with cyclo i mean since he's the oldest in here so let's Man. start with cyclo and the question says what do you all think for a black blade not the paint and that's from neil okay you oh, hit me with the black blade question yeah. um <laughs> what forges a black blade yeah. um there's only two. We only know of two Black Blades in the whole story. Um, Shusui was made by uh, Ryuma, right? So, yeah. something that we know in his history. Uh, we know he killed a dragon, and we know that he fought against the world government. Is it possible that to forge a Black Blade, you've got to plunge it into an immortal? Could Mihawk have stepped up against the Gorosei? Who knows, but he probably hasn't killed a dragon. Or if he has, so is Zoro, and that didn't turn his sword black. So my guess is maybe it's literally fighting uh, Imu and maybe the Gorosei. But something in that battle unlocks and permanently stores Haki in the blade. That's my guess. All right, so that's your answer, huh? That's my answer. Alright, so let's go to question number two. And it's gonna be for me, okay? And the question is from Cyclo. <laughs> the question says, <laughs> which straw hat will fulfill their dream first? Wait, I need to actually remember their dreams. Wait, Luffy, we still don't know. Let's say the Pirate's King. Zoro, the world's greatest swordsman. Uh, Nami, the map. Usopp, oh, alright. My answer is Usopp. Because he's gonna be the... Uh, uh, the brave warrior of the sea, and he's gonna be the brave warrior in the sea of the sea and Elba, in my opinion, because he's gonna get Conqueror's Haki then, and he's gonna finally fulfill his dream, I guess. So I'm, my answer says it's Usopp. So if you all got something else, yeah, you can I pay five hundred. I, I agree with that one actually. All right, cool. You all agree. I was. I would have no, said Brock I'd has a great actually, honestly. Of, you disagree. You gotta pay five hundred to get to get your answer. All right. So now Burns, he gotta basically pay five hundred. So now, yeah, let's hear your answer. Yeah. Okay. So I honestly think that like the next person that's gonna be their dream first is gonna be Sanji, because like since you know how like the world's gonna sink, mm. so it's probably gonna be like like that's probably gonna be like the all blue. And then Sanji's gonna find it, and that's that's it. That's the end of his dream. And I think, to be honest, I think well, when it comes to Usopp, like, I don't think he's gonna like become like the warrior that he wants to become right after Elba. It's probably gonna take some like some more time, and it might actually he might only like feel like he achieved that dream like by the end of the story. All right, yeah, that's it. I can't say anything because you paid so. All right, so now the question is for you, Burns. So the question is from Somia, from our team. The question says, Emu or Blackbeard, who do you think is going to be the final villain? Uh, personally, I think that neither of them is going to be the final villain. Like, I think that honestly, like, I think that Oda is probably going to introduce, like, another character. It's even like, it's even more like, like stronger or just literally just like behind the scenes. 
Like, I think that Emu is probably like a red herring. He's just trying to distract us. No, 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 no. I'm paying. And I'm like, paying. No, 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 no. I totally disagree. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm paying the 500. All right. All right. In my opinion, it's totally obvious. The final villain as a pirate, it's Blackbeard. And the final villain in One Piece, it's Emu because she's above all. He's literally sitting, or he, I don't know, still, okay? He's literally sitting on the empty throne. He's controlling everything. He is on top of the world. So, it's gonna be, it's gonna be always Blackbeard or Emu. There is no way there's gonna, we're gonna find a third guy or something. So, I tweeted the other day that it was a hot take that Blackbeard is gonna be the final villain. And I still stand on it. I feel like it's gonna be the final war between Luffy from the D family versus Blackbeard from the D family. Which is, could be that the Marshall family betrayed Joy Boy like 900 years ago or something. So it's gonna be amazing. So in my opinion, I feel like Blackbeard could be the final villain. Mm. So I'll spend gonna... some money to get in on this. I'll spend some money to get in. All on right, this, so, all right. Uh, what is it? The 500. So I'm down a bit. But um, I actually liked Burns' idea there that like maybe there's something more. Like I don't lo I don't love that like you know Naruto or whatever they they add this final villain right at the end that no one was expecting. Kaguya, right? There, yeah, yeah. There is a hint in One Piece that the ocean itself could be an enemy. The Mother Sea, in some way, shape, or form, is an enemy. Um, so it's not impossible that there is a higher being that Luffy is going to have to deal with by the end of the story, higher than Imu or Blackbeard. Um, I quite like that idea, actually. Um, I do think that as it stands with the people that we have in front of us, Blackbeard is the uh, final villain. More likely than Imu. That's, that's All right. about it. You paid, you can't say anything. All righty, so word. now the question goes to Wolf. And the question says, who will win on one-on-one -on -one duel, Shanks or Mihawk? Okay, okay. Miyok. I mean, listen here. Back in the day, Miyok and Shanks used to be equals. They always had draws. But now, currently, Miyok is stronger. So that's your answer. <laughs> Over here, like, yes. Do I have enough money? Do I have enough money to fight <laughs> everyone in this, in this I mean, call? I'm about... <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I'll, 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 I'll bring myself down to 3,000 just to see if someone else wants to argue with me. All right. um, it's entirely, you know, Mihawk will win a sword fight. Mihawk will win if it's a sword fight. That's my opinion. However, in a pirate fight, Shanks is going to win. There's, like, something <laughs> that Shanks can do that we don't know about. Something that he holds back in his in his sword duels that let Mihawk be above him are also the reason why Shanks is above pretty much anyone else on the sea, in my opinion. He's got some secret source that really puts him ahead of anyone else, and it's the reason the Garse are scared of him, blah blah blah. That's my opinion. Can't even argue with that. Honestly. I think it's fair, right? Like... <laughs> Shanks I mean, the way that might have a yeah. goddamn Susanoo. He might like. Yeah. <laughs> he could do anything. I mean, lore wise, have him the do way it. that order, yeah, the way yeah. he wrote him into the story, he's like, yeah, I don't know. He's a, such an enigma. He could do a Kamehameha, and I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I guess we can disagree on that. <laughs> All right. So the question goes for Cyclo again. Name three characters that carried. Wano arc. The three characters that carried Wano. Yeah. Um, that would be uh, what? It would be King Zoro and Enma. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. no um, Queen absolutely did carry Wano. Uh, his battle with Sanji, regardless, but like Queen as like pretty much the main antagonist for the Wano arc. Dude, the only guy dude. In the park. Ain't no way. You can't be for real, man. <laughs> I'm right. 
All right, I'm paying. Queen is Just shut the fuck. No, 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 I'm paying. I'm paying. You can't say anything now. No, no, I'm paying. I'm paying 500. Just fuck it. Queen's the most important person in the world. I want to pay. No, no, no. I just, I called it first. For fuck's sake, you're saying Queen, dude. All right, all right, all right. Hold on. My answer is pretty obvious, and it's simple. Number one, it will always be Luffy. He's always been the MVP of every arc, okay? I mean, let's just talk about the Gear 5th and everything happened in Wano. How did he become that strong with the old man? I forgot his name when he was in the Odon prison. When he got the Rio and everything, Luffy will always be at least one half, if not the, uh, the MVP of every arc in One Piece. And number two, Odin. There's no argue about that. I mean, his flashback and everything he's done in this arc is pretty impressive. He's definitely, I and mean, he definitely carried one, in my opinion. And number three, uh, the main uh, antagonist in this arc, which is Kaido, pretty obvious. So these are my three characters that carried Wano: Luffy, Odin, and Kaido. That simple. <laughs> Yo, can I play now? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Hi. Number one, of course, is Luffy. He beat Kaido. He unlocked Rio, advanced conquest, and got a Gear Five Awakening. Number two is Zoro. Even though, even though I don't lazy him, there, he did block the Yonko attack, and he, he did score Kaido, and then he beat King with Konkazaki. And number, f oh, I think number three, obviously is Kaido. I don't even explain it. You got something to say, Burns? No, I'm not jumping. No. I think you guys could, I think you guys you guys covered it. You still got like uh, thirty five hundred. I I think I think Queen, but I'm I'm I've been paid out. Just shut the <laughs> hell right, up, right. man. I'll jump in then. I'll jump in. All I'll right. jump in then. All right, all right, go ahead. All right. So I think so. Number one, I think Zoro. Honestly, um, to be honest, like just Zoro, Zoro versus King, Zoro training with Enma. And just Zoro, like finding his ambition to become the king of hell and getting our armament conquerors, like just clears everything in the arc. And just like honestly, like everything else Zoro did in the arc, his um when he was um undercover in Wano, and everything. I mean, Zoro carries every arc, anyways. So common, you know. So second, I'd say King, because honestly, King was like. He was the perfect antagonist for Zoro, and he was just like a, a great antagonist for the beast for the beast pirates and in Wano. I mean, like he mirrored Zoro like pretty perfectly as the right hand man, and like <clears throat> just in, in terms of, in terms of the backstory, um, I don't know. He's just cool too. Um, and then third, obviously Luffy. I mean. Like just gear five, nothing can top that to be honest. Yeah. That was a great transformation. And just, you know his performance throughout the whole one arc and his perseverance and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright. That's it. That was such an interesting question. I guess all of us participated in it. So the next question is for me. So the question says from Wolf actually, the question says, What's next? For Kuma after the events of Egghead. And this could be a hot take. I don't know if you're gonna disagree with me on that. Kuma just should die, man. He's... Look, I love Kuma. His flashback was amazing. It was sad. Perfect story with Boney and everything. And how he got such a beautiful soul and everything. I, I just think he should die in this arc, in my opinion. I think that's it. We've seen enough from Kuma as a character. We hated him at the, at the beginning. We we loved him. Now I think it's time for him to call to call the day off and to just die. In my opinion, I guess that's my answer. I think I'd say it's nicer, yeah. but I agree. Yeah. I agree too. From a narrative from a narrative point of view, that makes sense. To be honest. All right. Yeah. So no one, no one is paying, huh? uh, bro. Bro, you, you, you tried to be so like. <laughs> Now you're trying to be, you're trying to make us mad, bro. Yeah, that, yeah you just <laughs> die. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's not as not as big a, a hit as Queen, apparently. <laughs> as Lana. Nah, that was <laughs> sick. Nah, you literally called Queen the main antagonist, bro. Come on, come on. 
for, for most of what? <laughs> oh my god! All right. So now the question goes to Burns, and the question says: three characters from Marineford arc you wanted to see in Wano, and three characters from Wano you wanted to see in Marineford arc. Um, I guess I'll start with uh, characters in Wano that I want to see in Marineford, because there's one that comes in mind. I would have liked to see Kaido in Marineford, to be honest. Um, the fact that he got scared away, scared away from by Shanks was just kind of like, whatever, like wow, like wow, like why. Um, I think it would have been pretty cool if he if he showed up in Marineford. Um, another character from Wano that should have showed up in Marineford. Um, I mean, I guess I'll just say King, also. Mm, no reason, he's just cool. Alright. And then, three, uh, character from Wano. And that's pretty hard. I can't really think of anyone beside, besides these two. I mean, I guess I, I mean, I guess I could just add, like, Queen also. I don't know. And then... Marine Ford character to in Wano. I oh I guess um like I don't know like a Kainu or Garp or like I don't know like one of the Marines or Sengok, I don't know. Sengok like, would be a good choice. Yeah. I think it would have been cool if like the Marines showed up, but I don't know. Nothing really happened with them except for Green Bull who got like got scared away by Shanks. Yeah, that's it. Alright, I I guess I'm paying. Not because your answer sucked, but I guess it was uh, it's really a fun question, so I just wanted to participate in it. Alright, three characters from Marineford in Toronto. I guess I'm gonna say Garb, number one. I I think it was obvious. A lot of us really wanted to see him in, in Wano, actually. Number two, I could say uh, Bohankak, I guess. I just wanted to see how Bohankak would react. Uh... Seeing oh, Hancock with Kamurasake, that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, and her seeing, like, Girfeth and all, how would she react to Luffy and everything. And the third character, I would say, hmm, could be Kizaru. I really wanted to see Kizaru in, in, I was gonna say Vegetora, but Vegetora wasn't in Marineford, so I guess Garp, Bo Hancock, and Kizaru. That's from Marineford to Wano. And from Wano to Marineford, I guess number one, it should be obvious. Which is the man who, who Shanks actually stopped him, which is Kaido. I really wanted to see what was he actually willing to do. Like, was he actually willing to do? Uh, actually, was he actually willing to fight alongside Whitebeard? That was actually interesting. I really wanted to see it. And the second character could be King, because it's always nice to see King fighting alongside Kaido, isn't it? And the third character, I would say. Kiyomon could be, or Zoro, no, wait, I guess it makes sense, I could say Zoro, because Zoro was actually in Wano and not in uh, Marineford, so yeah, I guess it's Zoro, so, yeah, from Wano to Marineford, it's Kaido, King, and Zoro, that's my answer. Dang. If Zoro was there, yeah, if Zoro was there, maybe Ace wouldn't have died, to be honest. Alright, I'll, I'll pay in, because I think I've got some interest. Alright, alright, uh, alright. Answers, um, so you guys said Kaido, uh, Zoro... King for Wano. And, that was me. And, and Queen, maybe, yeah. No! Who said uh, Queen, dude? <laughs> no, 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 oh, I, I said Queen. I said Queen. Bun said Queen. He's, you know, oh, Kaido, yeah. My bad. My bad. I'm Queen. sorry. Like, uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> it's, he's not my favorite Queen, character. He's, he's one of his, okay. He's, yeah, respect he's, Queen, bro. Yeah, Mads. Queen, yeah, yeah, yeah Mads. Mads. I'm sorry. Um, so, uh, I'll do uh, Wano characters that could have come to Marineford. And I think the most interesting one would be Yamato. Oh, cool. Like, because Yamato and Ace, like, we got that whole scene where... Oh, Yamato yeah. Oh, I evil. totally forgot about it! <laughs> bro, I completely forgot about um, that, bro. If, if you were gonna do some weird time-bending stuff, then Yamato showing up at Marineford would be really interesting. Yeah, totally. Um... I like the idea of Kaido showing up instead of Shanks, and it just turning into an absolute war. Chaos! It's gonna be chaos. Away. <laughs> Bro, Kaido um, just wants bloodshed. Yeah, Crazy. so like, like Kaido squaring up to a Kainu, 
whatever happens there, that would be really interesting. Kaido wins, obviously. Um, is there anyone else from Wano that's like subtle? If I could put them there, um, I don't think so. I think it would definitely yeah. be someone like um, you could put King because the world government they could, you know, they would, oh, they yeah. would recognize a Lunarian. Maybe yeah. Sengoku would like be like, oh my god, that's Al. Blah blah blah. blah. I think that would that would be an interesting thing to do. There's not really many people that weren't in Wano and One Piece and Marineford anyway, because you've got like Marco and Izo and yeah, Jinbei uh, yeah, and Law, yeah. and they were all at Marineford. Yeah. Um. So. So yeah, I'd say Yamato. I'd say Kaido, and I'd say. You could bring. <sighs> um. Yeah, I guess Is yeah, you... King. King would make sense. Um, and then the, the alternative, I think Garp's a cool idea. Garp turning up. Uh, Garp and Sengoku could have shown up at Wano after Ryo, Ryo Goku, after Green Bull somehow, and like maybe gone to talk to Momo. Um, and Buggy? <laughs> yeah? Send Cross Guild oh, to Wano. Okay. Send Cross Guild to Wano. <laughs> like. After after the boys have gone, so that they can uh, go get like Pluton or whatever. <laughs> just really like, nah, we're just going into the end game way earlier. All right, I guess that's cool. <laughs> so, how Wolf, what are you paying? You still got like thirty five hundred. Now nah, I'm good, man. All right, so to the next question, and the next Thank question is money. for you, Wolf. And the question says, is it possible that Shanks? Is working for the world government. Oh boy, uh, he's not. He makes sure it was him to keep the balance of power between both piracy and the world government. But it's in him. He, he did steal the the gum gum Nomi food from the world government, but he also, he also did snitch on Blackbeard to the Gorosai. Mm -hmm. So I feel like he's playing both. Right, sides. I'm gonna pay. I'm paying. Bro, I'm paying. I'm paying. I'm paying. All right. I love right. <laughs> right. right. both yeah, so I think like about Shanks, um, he's probably like, like sitting in the middle. To be honest, I I don't think he he's fully a pirate or fully, like world government, like, employee or whatever the hell. Um, and then, I mean, to, like Shanks is like very like, like you can tell that he really like believes in like the new generation of pirates. So I don't think he would like, actually be a snitch. He's probably like actually trying like just. Like protect the world and save the world so i mean like in, in terms of the in terms of the person that he was snitching on like i don't think it's blackbeard to be honest it, it's probably gonna be some somebody else that that we don't know about um i think oda's probably just gonna pull the rug beneath us there and then um yeah I, about it. I mean, no, no, I can't. I can't say anything. But I was gonna say, is it possible that he was talking about Buggy? <laughs> uh, no, I don't you need so. to, you need to, you need to be careful of <laughs> that clown guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess it's gonna be the final round uh, because uh, this video is taking too long, and y'all got a lot of money, so we're still good. So the question is for Cyclo right now, and the question says, will this throw hats? Reach Laugh Tale first, or deal with the word government first? Oh, um, if those are the two options, I would say that we're going to get to Laugh Tale before we, uh, before we, we beat Agorose, before we, like, before Luffy has the ability to fight one of the Gorose, we're going to get to Laugh Tale because I think we're going to get answers about them there. Um, the One Piece, it's almost starting to take shape now. We can almost see what its silhouette looks like, maybe, uh, based on the last chapter and stuff. Um, it's interesting. We're racing there now. Uh, yeah, I think we get to Laugh Tale, we learn something, and then we have to turn around and go all the way back. Yeah. And we'll be beating the world government when we go through the red line. All right, I'm gonna pay here. Oh, I hate um, you. I mean, I, I, I don't fully disagree with you. Um, I just, I just had a comment to make. I think that, like, the, the One Piece, like, 
the story is basically just gonna like begin in a sense when when they reach um Laugh Tale. Like it's just gonna be we're gonna be learning a bunch of crazy things and it's just gonna move in a completely different direction. So I don't think there's they're obviously gonna need like some opposition. So mm-hmm. um I think the world government is still gonna be there. It's probably they're probably gonna be there until like the very end even. Right. Do we count um, fighting the Holy Knights as fighting the world government? Uh, no. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What do you mean? No, no, no. The world I mean, government. Yeah, fighting it, them, it but definitely like, counts. the Holy Knights is it, not the same as beating the world government. Yeah. What we're... So, yeah, because yeah. beating the world government means you're going to defeat the Gorosi and Emu. So that's it. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. Um, yeah. Yeah, the battle I mean, starts still a lot of, the yeah. God's Knights start still moving, a lot of unanswered. Right? questions yeah all right i'm paying um, but that doesn't mean that i disagree with you guys but i just let's yeah, see all right uh, i mean first of all to for luffy to have a reason to fight the world government he gotta know uh, their secrets and what they've done yes vegapunk uh, he actually said a lot of stuff that i mean i think luffy is not listening he's definitely not listening and i don't think the straw hats will like it could be like robin or stuff but for Luffy to care to fight the world government, I think th- there's got to be like two reasons. Number one, his father, which Luffy doesn't actually care about him. Number two, he got to know the secrets and what they've done like 800, 900 years ago. The slavery and everything, they killed everyone. So Luffy got to know the secrets behind the world government and Imusama and the Gorosi and all these guys and how evil they are for Luffy to have a reason to actually fight them and he, I mean it could be like when he reaches Laugh Tale he finds the what is it called the Rio Boneglyph that gives you a lot of important information or stuff so in, in that Boneglyph Robin is gonna read and she's gonna find out some some of the important stuff like with the with the Joy Boy and Emu could be like Emu betrayed actually the Joy Boy or some of the stuff for Luffy to actually care to fight them so in my opinion he definitely gotta reach Laugh Tale for him to actually care about fighting the world government and to make the peace I, we still don't know what what Luffy's dream is but I'm assuming could be something related to the world's largest or the world's biggest party on, or something like that or the world's biggest fest or something like that so if you're gonna make that possible you gotta defeat the evil guys which is in that case the world government so I think he gotta reach Laugh Tale to find out the truth about the world government. So that's my answer. I, uh, I saw a, a yeah. tweet a, a minute ago and I'll just add it in because it's sort of relevant to this. Um, to Yuya 765651 said uh, that they want some law questions. Um, and they wanted to ask whether, uh, as we get closer to Laugh Tale, do you think we're going to see more Lelusia type holes near the island? Personally, they think there's going to be dozens of them. I think that's a really interesting question. Like, is Lelusia still just this giant, like, hole with waterfalls pouring into it? Or has that equaled out yet, do you reckon? Hmm. Because I think the world government sending Mother Flames trying to destroy Laugh Tale, like, just randomly destroying islands, that's actually a really cool idea. I think that might be yeah, possible. But, yeah, but the question is, that was the first time for them using the Mother Flame. So yeah, it, wow. it, yeah, it was confirmed that that was the first time when Emu asked the Grossi that Emu wanted to to try it, and then Emu said that all right, let's pick Lelucia. Why? Because it was the uh, the nearest island. That was basically it. So that was it was confirmed that there was that was the first time for them to use the mm. Mother Flame. But the question is, mm. how did they actually make uh, uh, God Valley vanish? So the question is. Did they use something like similar I mean, to Mother Flame, like maybe, from the sun or something? I mean, maybe they, maybe they did. Did they make it vanish though? Like, I mean, maybe it's just still there, but like no one knows where it is. I don't know. Maybe they just removed it from the the log poses somehow. No, but Sengoku actually said that if if you're sailing there, you will not find anything for you to it think. It could be that like we... an ability. It could be an ability. Could be a mirage island. Um, we haven't really had many of those in One Piece. Mm. They are very common on the on the sea. Like the idea that um, oh, maybe, maybe I have an idea. Maybe like it's an island that moves. So maybe like the the location like changes. Or something. Yeah. Mm. 
Who knows? Who knows? God Valley. Uh, I do. Th I, that's an interesting one. I think we might end up there somehow, but um, we'll That'd see. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on the yeah, way. Yeah, up yeah, to yeah. Last I think time. it'd be cool. Oh, I th yeah, I think it'd be cool if we do end up going to God Valley, and then that's when they have the 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 flashback to God Valley. That'd be cool. Yeah. All right. So now uh, the question's for me, right? Uh, the previous one was for you, Cyclo, right? <laughs> It certainly was. Yeah, all right. So the question is for me, and the question says it's from Cav Cavendish, our guy. And the question says potential L buff power ups for like Nami, Brook, and Chopper. All right, wait, hold on for a second. I'm sorry, guys. All right, if you want me to do it in a Scottish accent, I'll say it's from Cavendish. It's potential L buff power ups for Nami, Brook, <laughs> yeah, and Chopper. We well, also have a question. Um, one of the questions where somebody said, um, Are the God Knights worth the hype? And Ooh, that's a good personally, I think, I think they are, because like gonna be. you know how you know how Dragon said that, like it's basically end game when they move, mm -hmm. and I mean I think also the fact that the fact that they're called the God Knights and like you know the fact that they're like, really hyped up in the story, like they're probably gonna be yeah. like well, I, per I personally think they're gonna be like like how, like Gorsi level level or higher. To be honest. Interesting. We should we should we should get that in the recording then. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm gonna include that. Okay. You got your question for you. Yeah. All right. So uh, the question is from Cavendish, our guy, and the question says potential L buff power ups like uh, for like Nami, Brook, and Chopper. All right. To answer your question properly, let's just say what's gonna happen in L buff arc. Is it gonna be possible that we're gonna meet Shanks, uh, Blackbeard? Uh, like I've seen some of uh, some theories saying that it's gonna be a free for all battle. Like we're gonna meet uh, the Red Hair Pirates with the Blackbeard Pirates and everything. If 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 it's possible that this is gonna happen in Elbaf Arc, the power ups are gonna be insane for the guys like Zoro, Sanji, and uh, Jimbe or Robin. That's that's basic answer, right? To say like uh, Zoro, Sanji, and Robin, but. I, I should say uh, could be uh, Usopp. I think I think it could be possible for Usopp to have finally that amazing power up, which he's gonna finally become the brave warrior of the sea. And number two, I don't see Nami Brock Chopper getting power ups. I could say uh, Zoro. Mm. It, it could be Zoro in my opinion. I feel like Zoro is gonna always have that usual power up for him to reach Mihawk's level because in my opinion uh, Zoro is still too far to, uh, to defeat uh, Mihawk in my opinion so he definitely have uh, I mean Zoro in my opinion hasn't done anything in this arc in Egghead arc so he definitely has got nothing like as a power up or something everyone in the Straw Hats except for like Luffy so uh, it could be Usopp He's gonna be the brave warrior of the sea and could be potentially getting a, a conqueror zaki and number two could be zoro because he's gonna keep powering up to reach mihawk's level i guess these two are gonna get like the the most unique or the most uh crazy power up in my opinion okay i would like to pay all right so obviously i don't see I don't see Zoro getting a power, a power up yet. I feel like he's gonna get advanced observation Aki when he fights Stu in what's name in left tail. That's for Usopp. Usopp's probably getting advanced observation and uh, probably Monia. And in Sanji, it's either, it's, either, it's either advanced observation or it's advanced armament. But for Brook, Chopper, and Nami, they're not getting anything. Except for Brook, Brook, can, Brook can get armament. Like basic. Is that your uh, is that your full answer? Yes, my final answer. Nice. I uh, I'll jump in. Right. Um, not that not that again. Not that you guys are prob are probably wrong necessarily. Like it's we're all just guessing. Yeah. But um, I'm gonna like to focus on the characters that they mention, like the the weaker members. Um, Zeus was looking for a new name, and I wonder if Nami might tap into the Viking stuff and rename him Thor. Interesting. Um, and Interesting. Uh, like somehow, like you know, work with him to produce more powerful attacks and stuff. So she could she could develop in some way as the Weather Witch on uh, 
Elbaf, because I do think Elbaf will be a training arc of some type. The Giants like the Straw Hats. They half worship them at this point. Yeah, right. Um, so it will, it should be a calm arc, but maybe not. Maybe it'll be religious crusades. Who knows? Um, Brook, there is a... Huh. The Gyala Horn is in Norse mythology the horn that gets blown that starts Ragnarok. Oh. And as a musician, I could see Brook getting maybe a new instrument that he can like do stuff with. And if it was like a trumpet, I could see um kind of like sonic attacks or something like that. Um maybe more impressive illusions. Uh Usopp, uh, a big hammer that has a devil fruit inside it, could be cool. Uh, lots of people think he'll get Mjolnir, which is, like, not an impossible. Um, if Elbaf is the arc where he becomes the brave warrior of the sea, um, then, sure, he's definitely going to get a big upgrade. Let's but, go! But I've always seen Usopp getting that title in more of a Bon Clay way. So I'm not sure if Usopp will become brave by becoming strong. I think Usopp will be brave because he is brave. Like he's gonna you sacrifice understand? himself or something. That's that's my that's my thinking for Usopp eventually, potentially, right? Like, no, you can't go past me. I will stop you, Blackbeard Pirates, or whatever, and just, you know, we'll see you on Laugh Tale when we see you, mate. But, um, in terms of an upgrade, Usopp should get a weapon with a devil fruit inside of it. That would be, that would be what he needs. That would be cool. Okay, Chopper. I'll jump in too. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, let me just add oh. one last thing for Chopper. Um, if he could get another form, there is the Guardian of the World Tree, Ratatoska, also from Norse mythology, um, that looks after, like, the health of the world tree looks after these dragons that live at the bottom of it. Um, something like that. I could see Uso I could see Chopper working with the monsters on Elbaf or something like that. Uh, yeah, th so th those, are, those are my ideas for the weaker straw hats. Sorry, go on, bud. Yeah, so I just want to say that, like, there's like, going to be, like, so many, like, different factors that they're going to be going on in Elbaf, just like in Wano. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to say, like, whether, well, who's going to get power-up and who's not going to get power-up, and, like, if they're going to have time to even get power-ups. Because if, you know, if Shanks shows up, Blackbeard shows up, maybe Big Mom shows up, maybe Kaido shows up, maybe, I don't know, just maybe some other people show up, maybe, like, Kid or Law or whatever. Um, I mean, it's kind of hard, like, would they get time to get, get stronger? Um, maybe not. So... I mean, yeah. I mean, also, like, for Usopp's case, I mean, Usopp is, like, 100% guaranteed he has to get something in this arc. This is, like, his one shot to, to get stronger. But, I mean, I mean, he's always been, like, dead set on being, like, this sniper. So, I don't know if he's going to get, like a, like, a melee weapon. I don't know. That's kind of weird. But, I definitely do see him, like, getting some form of advanced hockey or something oh, he definitely needs something experimental. he's a hammer that can just like hit people from miles away through poles oh my god yeah, it's gonna be insane <laughs> that's what i want for Usopp. <laughs> <laughs> all right so that's your answer burns yeah all right so now we move to you again burns and the question says it's from ice cube and he said hope this get mentioned it is. Be happy now. And the question says, what is your theories about the Void Century and also how will the final war look like? I mean, that's a very broad question, but... There's a lot you can do with that. I mean, yeah. I mean, I've, I've written a lot of things about, like, what I think, you know, the Void Century has and whatnot. But I guess I'll just mention some things, so... Um, I guess we're gonna all jump in because the it's the final yeah. round, so yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, I guess, okay, so the void century, so we start from Joy Boy being born in the ancient kingdom. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I personally think that, like, what happened is that, like, he, well, I wrote it in, in a previous theory that I think that, like, he ended up eating, like, like the the gum gum fruit, whatever, and then, like, that's what ended up um, getting him, like, kicked out kind of like a um like a forbidden fruit like analogy with like the garden of eden and everything because you know how like the ancient kingdom is like supposed to be like super mm -hmm. like advanced and like basically like a paradise in a way mm. so if so him eating it could be like potentially like i don't know like him getting like like kicked out exiled by the people that are there and also also like previously i've mentioned like multiple times in my theories that I think that like the ancient kingdom are like they're all like fishmen and stuff, so like that could even have like more like more of a weight like having um a devil f like having like, a devil fruit power it could be like looked down upon even more, and um hmm. uh in terms of like in terms of like the final war, um I mean I think Oda's gonna probably just bring back like. Like basically, like all the characters, Smash um, Bros. Ultimate style. Yeah, everyone is yeah, there. Yeah, literally. Yeah. yeah, literally. And then, I mean, the God Knights are gonna get involved. Um, the Grand Fleet is gonna get involved. Like, I don't know. To be honest, like, see, the thing is with with Shanks and Blackbeard is that I think that both of them are gonna like draw, like in their fight, they're gonna fight each other, but then they're both gonna end up, end up surviving, and they're both gonna end up being wounded. But I think Oda still has plans for them, like in the end of the story. So I think they're gonna still be involved. Um, I think like I mean, there's the there's the man marked by flames that still didn't show up. Um, there's the God Knights. There's Emu. So, I mean, there's a lot of factors. Um, there's also the Marines. I don't know what's gonna happen with them. Um, I mean, you would have know like if like. Maybe the Marines are gonna like turn their backs on the world government or whatever. We don't even know what's gonna happen, but it's gonna be crazy. That's it. All right, I guess I'm gonna jump in. Not disagreeing, definitely, but I just since it's the final round. So I guess you said everything perfectly about the vote century, uh, especially that uh, the Great Kingdom, which could be the Joy Boy was actually the king, but he decided to explore the world. Where, uh, when, when definitely when Vic Punk said that he was the first pirate ever or something. So not pirate per se, but he was the first guy that had the will to actually explore the world. As we know, the pirate, the name pirate is, isn't necessarily for a bad guy who wants to kill innocent people and all that. The pirate is just a guy who wants to be free and to explore the world. So I guess Joy Boy was the first guy to do that. And by that, uh, Imu Sama or some other guy who decided to create this, the 20 great kingdoms, and then they decided to betray uh, uh, Joy Boy or something happened like that, which we all know that the great kingdom was living happily, was much civilized than our uh, current time in One Piece World and everything. So I think there's some betrayal that happened with Imu Sama, and uh, Imu Sama did all that with the 20 kings, or let's say the 19 except uh, the Arbasta kings. So I guess that that's what happened, as, as we know for now. And uh, to answer your second question, which is uh, what's gonna happen in the final war or how is it gonna look like? I guess like you said, it's gonna be like free for all, uh, the evil guys versus the good guys. Everyone could jump in, uh, the D family, the, it's gonna be insane, like Luffy with Dragon, and their alliance with Sabu, Zoro, and all these guys versus Emo on top and the Grossi and all these guys. So I guess that's how it's gonna look like. It's gonna literally be like the final war, which is either evil or good guys. So I guess this is how it's gonna look like. Luffy, Dragon, the good guys versus Emo, uh, the Grossi, the evil guys, and Luffy with Dragon are gonna win that. And they're finally gonna destroy the red line. And after all, Sanji is gonna find all of blue. And I guess that's it. <laughs> I'll jump in. All right. I'll jump in because right. this is this is um, the final war is 
I think, going to go along the same battle lines as the previous war. Uh, there are two ideas up in the air that we don't know about, um, but that I think we'll learn in Raftel. Like, that will be the answer they find there and the choice that they're asked to make. Because as Roger got to the final island and as the uh, Roger pirates learned the truth of the world, they were left with a decision. And the Roger pirates apparently decided to wait or decided to listen to whatever Roger told them to do. Um, which is probably betting on the next generation or, you know, something along those lines. Um, that question is going to be the basis of the Holy War and the final war, sorry. Um, and for some people it will be a Holy War because the Gorosei worship Imu and the Giants worship Luffy in a way. So there are those kind of battle lines. I think a lot of characters are going to find themselves shaken and following Luffy far more than they expected. Characters maybe even like Buggy, like Crocodile, that will realize that it's more serious than being pirates right now. That it's not about personal stuff, it's about this greater ideal of like freedom versus safety, maybe. Um so Yeah, yeah that's also, basically the also. important part. Like that I think that everyone's going to align. The final war is not gonna be like eighteen different uh factions all doing different things. It's going to be yeah. two battle sides that are saying, no, this is how we're going to go forward in the future, or this is how we're going to go forward. Yeah. That's my idea. I mean, I think that's what, like, Shank symbolizes in a way, because he's mm -hmm. standing in the middle. Yeah, He's not necessarily, like, he's, he's just trying to um, fight for the, I guess, just fight for everyone, honestly. Yeah, because Shanks is existing in the new world, in the dangerous, like, grand, like, new world, while he's also protecting people that shouldn't be there, right? protecting these old yeah. weak like pirates i think that's an yeah. interesting point that like i would think that that's metaphorical for his place in the story as well yeah that's a good that's a good pull all right uh wolf want to jump in okay so in so in regards to the final war will be the godasai emu and the holy knights against the stories alliance and revolutionary army but for like for the for the navy, it's like a bit of of a flip side of a coin. Will it be on a world governor side or will it be on a sworded side? Cause in you know, I also see what's the name. The Goro side fighting the new generation. They fighting what New Joro fighting Joro, Mars fighting Sanji, Kid fighting Wokui, Law fighting Jupiter, and Kobe fighting Saturn. And then you have Luffy and Dragon up against Imu. Hmm. Oh, so it could be two on one. It, uh, it's like the yeah. Yeah, I see that happening. It's just like uh, Corp and Roger versus our rocks. Yeah, because mm -hmm. Dragon has also been mm. both both Dragon and Luffy has been set up to fight Emu. Yeah, that's true. All right. So into today's final question, and it's for you, Wolf, and the question says, from uh, Lock Joe, and the question says, in an ideal One Piece world, do you think Devil Fruit should exist, or people are well off with just Haki? I feel like people will be well off with Haki, since you can use observation in your daily life, you can have um, armament so you can protect with, protect with spiritual armor, and then you have Conquest Haki, which is self-explanatory. What do you, but what do you guys think? Should we, should we have Devil Food since... But Devil Food also have a weakness as well. Alright, I'm gonna no, jump I think in. We should... and pay. Oh. oh my god. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna jump in, but do you wanna go first? Yeah, um, it's gonna be a quick answer. Alright, I guess in an ideal One Piece world, it's definitely there's no Devil Fruits because it was confirmed that uh, Devil Fruits came in the world uh, 900 years ago or something in the Asian Kingdom. So let's say One Piece world was like uh, 4,000 years or something, right? So we can say before 1,500 years ago, there's no Devil Fruits. 
and One Piece World was just fine. So yeah, in an ideal One Piece World, there's no Devil Force. I guess just Haki, in my opinion. I disagree, honestly. I disagree by law, actually. Okay. Um, I think like do I think Devil Fruits are like. I mean, they're like people's dreams and everything. Um, I think in a way it could also be like symbolizing like, like the start of religion as a whole in the One Piece world. Um, with like you know Nika, and then like, friggin' the elders, and uh, Emu. Mm -hmm. And I think. I think Devil Fruits are like, like actually like sing signify like a very like a like very important shift in their world's history. Like people like start like you know dreaming and everything, and mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I'll jump in. Right. Um, I think that brings me down to I think I've, I've jumped in like seven times now, so I've got like five hundred berries left. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so. I think that might be the very question that is being asked in the, you know, in the final war. Um, freedom through devil fruits and through being able to dream and being able to want more or safety in no devil fruits, in everything being understood and everything being like stagnant in a way. Because I think. Imu would much rather there were no devil fruits. Imu would much rather no one had them but them. Um, the world government collects powerful logia fruits to give to the marines. Um, I mean, that also begs the I question of does does Imu have a devil fruit? Yeah, I was gonna say that. Do, do Imu and the Gorosei have devil fruits, or are they just no, devils? Does, does Imu does, does Imu have a devil so, fruit? Yeah, so I think that I think that the shadow that we saw in uh, in Mary Joy and the arrow attacks that hit Sabo, I think that was Imu. Could it have been like an actual silhouette of Imu's real body? Right, right. Um, yeah, because that's the question. Like, is it a is it a devil fruit or are they something different? Are they more? Than a devil for it would would see water stop them whatever, um, we we'll have to wait and find out. I think we'll get those answers in Elbaf probably. We've got a lot of like intelligent people in Elbaf that will yeah. start to give us some answers. Um, long I actually have giant, um, uh, like yeah, I actually yeah. have like a couple more questions that are gonna be quick. If no one else wants to jump in, yeah, um, go ahead. So my first one is uh. Uh, do you guys think that like, do you guys think that Shanks was like, tasked tasked with like, giving the 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 elders the, the gum gum fruit, like initially, and then Luffy ended up eating it. But do you think he was like supposed to give it to the elders? Like that's why he had it. No, no. I think if he was if, cause, because they had it right, like they the yeah. Marines had it and Shanks but, like, took it from them. Um, but like um, I don't know. Maybe maybe I they thought that like. Shanks was like would be able to better, like, protect it or. I think Shanks. Or maybe, was or maybe to they wanted Ace. Shanks. Ace. Yeah, Roger's Roger's son. Like, who who better to carry the new generation, the the new era, than Roger's son? Uh, yeah, I mean that's possible. Yeah, but. And then Luffy Luffy swiped it when they weren't paying attention. Yeah, uh, but I, I Shanks mean, had definitely too good to observation that. hockey for that. The fact that the fact that Shanks can literally see the future, there's no way he didn't put that in front of Luffy and know that Luffy was going to eat it. No, in my opinion, I don't think that I don't think that was the case because if you remember, the Grossi said that uh, the Zone Del Fruit uh, has their own will, right? Like the One yeah. Ring. Do we think? Do we think it's that powerful that like the fruit can actually make stuff happen? Yeah, because... I always read it yeah, as because... like. Oh no, they did say the fruit of the fruit has evaded us, right? Yeah, um, yeah, they did say that, yeah. I always pictured it as like once you eat the fruit you feel the will. But maybe it is more that the fruit itself literally like Yeah. One Refuses if you're the, not him. <laughs> yeah. I mean when you think yeah. about it, like uh, it's it's arguably Luffy's devil fruit is arguably like the greatest devil fruit, or let's say the greatest zone type. Fruit. Yeah. yeah, so it's, I mean, I feel like it's possible 
for Luffy's Devil Fruit to pick someone, like, in particular, mm-hmm. because Luffy is actually him. He's the guy. So, yeah, sure. could be. Yeah, I, I mean, in my opinion, it, it could be possible that Shanks was, like, going, uh, trying to see in the East Blue to check in some kids or stuff, and he'd be putting th- that treasure, which has the Gomu Gomu no Mi Devil Fruit, and he was like, because, because, yeah, I remember when you look back when Shanks did it, he, he literally put the devil fruit besides Luffy, and the moment Luffy ate the devil fruit, he was like, No, Luffy! He was acting surprised, but I'm not buying it. I don't think he was surprised. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he intentionally yeah. put it put it in there, and he he knows that this yeah. devil fruit has it, it, it has it on will, in my opinion. So Okay, I have um, one more question. So we both, so we know how um, both, uh, both Roger and uh, Ryuma, um, they both died of illness. Yeah. So do you guys um, think that's connected? Because I think that like, so personally, I think that um, the God Knights are all like, um, all have like devil fruits that are like associated with like um, the zodiac signs. So I think that okay. one of the God Knights has like the cancer sign. So maybe he has like, like okay. a devil fruit ability that's like able to give like like an illness that can't be healed or something. Something that's that OP. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's a decent theory, though. There, there's meant to be like 12 or 13 God Knights, right? So, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, one one based on Scorpio, maybe, that poisons people. Something like that. Yeah, I could see it. Cancer for the obvious link. Um, like, yeah. Could be because like sickness I mean, could be like yeah. maybe because like, like just the fact that like Roger died of illness is just so it's just so like I don't know it's, it's kind important because it's important yeah for sure. it has it has to be important because he was literally like one of the strongest like people at the time yeah it wasn't a coincidence and like totally like how could he die and, and like that's like after he you know, he found the truth at yeah. at Lafter. I mean Whitebeard was Whitebeard was sick. Maybe, maybe yeah, Raftel's radiate. Maybe, maybe Raftel's um, radiated. Like it could be yeah. that simple. It could be that simple. Like uh, you know, Japanese yeah. maybe it's uh, and the... Japanese stuff does use the horrors of the Second World War and the you know the atomic bombs and yeah. stuff like that. They use that a lot. And the idea that maybe all of it's just mutations and radiation and Honestly, I'm kind of like blowing my own mind a little bit. Oh, did you guys um see the, uh, like a while back? I saw like this theory that was that um that the one piece is like is like a huge piece of meat that's like cooking. What did you guys see that theory? Just, just, no. and it wasn't ready yeah. when and it wasn't so, so ready maybe, when they got. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so maybe it's like a giant microwave or something. I don't know. And then there's like a lot, a lot of radiation. <laughs> it could be anything. But... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Roger maybe died of radiation sickness. Yeah, it could be. I mean, yeah, thinking about it, there's no way that Roger, like the strongest or one of the strongest, died in in in, in, in like a random illness and a coincidence. And a coincidence, I don't think that's possible. I feel like, yeah, some because I mean, when you think about it, Jenny, uh, Boney's mother, she died because yeah. of because of yeah. Saturn, right? Yeah. So it could be possible that one of the Gorosi as well, like. They were tired from Roger and stuff, what he was doing. So, yeah, it could be possible. Well, the Gorosei are obsessed with eternal life in some way. Yeah, right. At least I, I, that's something I thought, I, or at least Saturn was. Saturn seemed to be doing something about, like, maybe not eternal life, but curing disease because they seem to maybe have diseases or something. So, yeah, I, yeah. I'm. Maybe. I, 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 I feel that there's a. There's something here, but we don't have enough of the answers. Whatever Roger's illness was is really important. So you all agree that it wasn't a coincidence, like? No. Yeah, I mean, also, also, um, Ryuma, Ryuma. Yeah. He also died of yeah, illness. Ryuma, white beard. Yeah. Wait, was it confirmed that Ryuma died uh, with an illness? Well, I don't know. I searched it up on Google, so I don't know. Oh, all right. That's I interesting. But if... like, three legends dying from illness. There's no way that was random. Yeah, an unspecified sickness, apparently. Hmm. All right, so I guess this is it, right? Yeah, that's it. 
all right well, i guess that was it guys yep. see you next week thank you for watching if you're still watching thank you see you next week <laughs> thank you, see you guys. Bye. Bye.